Hi everyone, this is Hal Tasaki. Welcome to my online course. So now you're watching the very first video of a series of many, many videos, I don't know how many there are, uh, for my course on non-equilibrium statistical mechanics. So this is a guidance video in which I explain to you the basic character of the course. So it's called A Modern Introduction to Non-Equilibrium Statistical Mechanics. What is this? Well, this is basically a self-contained introduction to non-equilibrium statistical mechanics for graduate or motivated undergraduate students, mainly in physics. And actually, this is based on graduate course that I gave in 2021 and 2023 at Gakushin University. So I'd like to thank all the students who took the classes. And here, I want to develop a new approach based on modern points of view, and I hope this is clear. For example, uh, this course actually starts, almost starts from something called the Jaucinski equality and the fluctuation theorem. theorem. Probably you have heard of, heard of them. And actually it ends with Einstein's theory of Brownian motion. And actually uh, many books and lectures on non-equilibrium statistical mechanics starts from Einstein's theory of Brownian motion and ends by discussing modern things like this. But I'm doing things in the opposite. But I want to stress that I'm not simply trying to be different. I, I believe that this is a good way of presenting non-equilibrium statistical mechanics. But actually, the fluctuation theorem in some setting is very easy to understand. And I would say that it's much, much easier to understand than the Langevin equation, which is the starting point in many books of this uh, theory of Brownian motion. Okay, so uh, I start from this. And now I'm using this uh, sort of beautiful slides, but uh, this does not continue. And in the actual lecture, I'm going to use this, this kind of handwritten note by myself. You can download everything. And I just, uh, I just talk based on this. And if you're good at Japanese and English, then I do have Japanese version in which I use the same English slide, but only speak in Japanese. Okay. Uh, my, my Japanese is better. <laughs> okay. But actually, I, I first took Japanese version and then took English version. So in some sense, I, I, my, my explanation, it could be better in English. So there is a sort of trade-off. Okay. Anyway, uh, okay, so let's continue. So uh, in the, probably you, you can understand, but in this lecture, I, uh, this lecture places main emphasis on general results and concepts rather than practical applications. So of course, there are there are many important applications of non-equilibrium statistical mechanics, mainly in uh, not mainly, but not not only in condensed matter theory. Okay, condensed matter physics. And uh, typically, we mainly study a mathematical formulation called Markov jump processes. Uh, if you know, uh, th this is a Markov processes with discrete states and continuous time. Of course, I will explain them very, very carefully. Okay. So anyway, this is a sort of a rather mathematically uh, mathematical setting. So it could be a toy model from a physics point of view. But uh, I think this is a very good playground for learning general result and concepts. And once you learn basics about non-equilibrium statistical mechanics based on this kind of uh, rather mathematical setting, it's not very difficult to study a uh, different formulation, which is much, which are closer to practical applications. So I think this is good for introductory course. Okay. And uh, I, I want to cover standard results like linear response relations and the reciprocal relation. This is a very important, beautiful relation. And also, as I already said, as I already said, I like to cover uh, modern things like the fluctuation theorem and the Jaucinski equality. And I, in this course, I try to be mostly mathematically rigorous. But uh, don't mind, I don't use anything like uh, advanced functional analysis. I only use undergraduate mathematics. To be specific, uh, what I require is basic abstract mathematics language and elementary calculus like differentiation and integration and some linear theory about vectors and mat matrices. Okay, not more than that. And we use, of course, probability, but we don't assume advanced knowledge in the probability theory. And as for physics, uh, basic classic mechanics, classical mechanics, and some working knowledge on 
classical statistical mechanics. And, uh, and actually, I myself work on quantum physics, but here, no quantum physics. And, uh, and of course, uh, there are many, uh, there are beautiful results, many beautiful results and theories about uh, non-equilibrium quantum statistical mechanics. Okay, but here we don't talk about quantum physics. This is an inter introductory course. Okay, but anyway, uh, we have some, we have part two, which is a bit long and heavy, but here I will carefully introduce all necessary concepts in mathematics. Okay, uh, okay, so probably I have to introduce myself. And Hautasaki, I'm Hautasaki, and I'm actually a mathematical physicist. And I worked on some problems, but uh, I think I could do something non trivial in the field called quantum many body systems. And actually, I wrote a book which was published from Springer. And I think this is a very nice book with beautiful cover illustrations. So uh, if you're interested, uh, I'm, I'm very happy if you can take a look at this book. And as for non-equilibrium statistical mechanics, I was, I, I tell you that I was fascinated and I was very much interested and I spent long time on this, trying to produce something, but, but actually life is not easy. And actually, but I studied this field. So that is why I'm recording this. But there, there is one exception, actually. Uh, this paper with my two friends, Shiraishi, Naoto Shiraishi and Keiji Saito, entitled Universal Trade-Off Relation Between Power and Efficiency for Heat Engines. I think this is a nice work, uh, nice mathematics and very clear physics and wide applicability. So uh, I, I like this. Then actually, I, I'm going to talk about this uh, in part four of this lecture. Uh, but, but actually, uh, probably you know that both Naoto and Keiji are now the big names in the field of non-equilibrium statistical mechanics. So actually, I, of course I did contribute, I'm here, but I, I did contribute, but you know, uh, they are the main authors and I, I made some, I helped them a little bit. But anyway, you will hear about this. And, and finally, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to list some reference incomplete. I will present some incomplete list of references at the end of each part of the main lecture. But here are some main, uh, here are some general references, mainly books. So Ken Sekimoto is one of the pioneers of non-equilibrium statistical mechanics for small system. And he has a nice book back in 2010. This is Udo Seifeld's uh, review is very, uh, this is a very famous review. And actually this is not a book, so you can, you can read it for free if you go to archives. That's nice. And uh, this is a very nice book containing many, many things. And this is Naoto Shiraishi's recent book. Oh, it contains a lot. It's a big book. Okay. And uh, actually, I, I'd like to stress that in here, probably you see this uh, phrase molecular machines. And actually in, in this uh, book, on, in these books, you will see experiments or examples from very small systems like molecular machines or molecular motors in biology and things like that. So that is, that's because uh, many people found very good uh, applications of non modern non-equilibrium statistical mechanics in these very small system, mesoscopic or small system. But this is a, this is an introductory course in non-equilibrium statistical mechanics. So I do not only focus on small systems. So I, I like to cover usual macroscopic large system and also small system. And actually some results uh, is meaningful only in small systems, but I, I will I will emphasize, emphasize that uh, when I talk about that. And finally, um, since now I'm giving this course and I, I have well, I have, re I think, well prepared, nice material. So I think this forms a very nice book, not a very big, small, easy to read book, uh, which uh, gives an introduction to non modern introduction to non equilibrium statistical mechanics. But uh, my time is limited. But now, but, but now this is 2023, we have GPT 4, and, we, and so. Uh, Probably if GPT-5 or GPT-6 comes out, then we can just let GPT-6 uh, go through my lecture and ask, him, ask it, him, her, uh, to write a book, write a very nice book based on this lecture. And probably you will have a book. So please wait for that. Anyway, so this was all for guidance. And yeah, I hope you, can, you will enjoy the rest of the videos.